So I think there clearly is potential that uh, HER2 cancers, positive cancers, are immunogenic enough that we can uh, use um, immunotherapy. There's evidence of this from the original uh, adjuvant HER2 trials where uh, a, a small subset of patients had had uh, immune infiltrate, so a lot of lymphocytes in the tumor, so we know they were more immunogenic, seemed to do better even without trastuzumab, suggesting that maybe there's a, a natural immunity that chemo alone can help with. And also there's some thinking that maybe um, uh, the antibodies, both trastuzumab and pertuzumab, in addition to blocking HER2 signaling, are actually activating the immune system. Uh, th they do have the ability to recruit T cells and to activate antibody-dependent cellular cytotoxicity. So um, it's possible that part of the reason why trastuzumab and pertuzumab have had such a profound impact on survival, you know, compared to, say, the tyrosine kinase inhibitors like lapatinib, where we haven't seen that. Uh, that it could be due to an immune effect. And immune effects are persistent. So uh, that also could explain why we've seen these very long responses within a few patients with metastatic or 2 positive. All of us that are in practice have a handful of patients that have gone 10, 15 years. And it's probably because of an, an immune effect.